Roswell flight test crew here at Dino Drone 2018. I'm speaking with Sean here from High Tech Commercial Solutions. Nice to meet you, Sean. Hey, Brian. Good to see you. So, what do we have new today? Okay. Uh, what I'd like to tell you about today is the Xeno FX. This is our drone slash survey vehicle. As you can see, it is a fixed wing. So the advantage of fixed wing is it can fly much longer and cover a larger area. It's going to fly for about an hour, a little over 32, 33 miles an hour. So not too fast, kind of an ideal speed for the sensor. Okay, that's really great. Now, as far as uh, if you're surveying a field, how does it take off and land? Uh, so it's actually a hand launch. So it's going to, you simply, if you can toss a air, paper airplane, you can launch the Xeno FX. Uh, we have what's called safety launch, where the propeller will not spin until after it's left your hand. And because the wing loading is low, it's going to just a gentle glide, motor's going to kick in, and then it's going to climb out to its proper altitude to start the survey. And, and what about landing? Well, it does not auto land. Uh, it's going to rotate around the landing area. You're, you're going to tell it where to land. It's going to come in, it's going to dive down, but it'll hit, kick in reverse thrust. And then it's going to level out and flare where you told it to land. And I've noticed got, you've got multiple payloads here on the bench here. What do you have and what purpose do they have exactly? So the idea behind this type of sensor drone is the modularity of the sensors. And because everyone's needs are just a little bit different. And you could be at the same field, but you want a few different spectrums of light, or maybe you want a topo, and then you want to do different multi-spectrums. Multi so the sensors actually just pop in and out of the vehicle. So you can you could change the sensor in a matter of 30 seconds. And you're gonna tell the flight control system, the mission planning software, what sensor's in there. It knows the proper altitude you can make adjustments. From. That is awesome. Now, of course, you mentioned software. Do you use like a computer or a tablet? What do you, how do you do this? So, good question. We came up with our own app. It's called High Tech Mission Control. And you can plan your mission beforehand and then go out to the site, make any adjustments you need to, or if you simply walk out there and you're ready to launch your mission. That's great. And what if you, you find out, you get on site and there's something in the way, like a tall tree, can you just adjust that on site? You can adjust it on site, you can tell it to go fly over it, it'll actually do terrain following also, so it can make an adjustment for the terrain. But it's very easy to do, you can go in and edit the mission, and you can plan a mission within a matter of just a few minutes. So once the plane lands, it's going to download all the images straight to the tablet. So at the end of the day, you're looking for the data. There's a, a companion computer on board that's processing the metadata, which is the GPS location, this is the pitch, the roll, uh, the yaw, all into each pictures, and that's already done while it's flying. So when it lands, it downloads all the pictures that are ready for post-processing straight to the tablet. It eliminates a step, it, it makes the workflow much easier for the end user. So this is a larger aircraft, you just, how do you pack it up? What does it oh. do? So we understand a lot of times you're in a place that may not be easiest to get to. You might have to hike to get to it. So what we've done is we have added a feature. So you remove the smart battery and the vehicle folds in half. You take off the fins and you pack it in a convenient carrying case. And the vehicle itself weighs only about two pounds, so it's very light, very easy to carry around. And then when you get back to where you're going, unfold it, install a smart battery. Then you simply put in your sensor and upload your mission and you're ready to go. That is great. That is exceedingly simple. It just seems like there's something more that should be happening here, but that's it. Um, <laughs> that's what we thought too. So that's why we came up with the Xeno FX. Well, awesome. Well, um, one last thing, this big one behind you. Just have to, I have to ask about that one because it keeps drawing my attention. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's a very sexy What is uh, this? Drone. So, this is the Quantum Systems Trinity. And uh, Multiplex, which is part of the high-tech family, partnered with Quantum to develop this airplane. They also do the manufacturing for this airplane. So, this is a vertical takeoff and landing fixed wing drone, so it's going to take off like a hel helicopter, all three motors are going to point up towards the sky, it's going to lift off, and then it's going to transition into forward flight. Once it's cruising into forward flight, the front motor shut off, the propellers fold back, and it's just the rear motor pushing and pulling the airplane. 
because of the efficiency of just running one motor, a vehicle like this can also fly for an hour. It can carry a little bit larger payload. It's going to fly a little bit faster, so it'll cover a bigger area. The two questions I have then are, are, are these available now, and how much are they? The Trinity is available now. It's going to start at less than 20000 It's going to depend upon the sensor. The Xeno FX starts at around 7000 and again, it's going to change by what type of sensor you want. That is very awesome. Well, I really appreciate your time here, and uh, Sean? Brian, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is Roswell Fight Disc Crew at uh, Energon 2018, signing off.